Y'all, here's my follow-up show for the you kill more during the mornings, evenings, or midday. Uh, you know, I basically ask the question, have you ever thought about some years why you kill more deer in the morning, some years you may kill more deer in the evening. Uh, you know, a lot of y'all left comments of how y'all kill more deer. A lot of you was like me, uh, sort of even, about half in the morning, half in the evenings, uh, a few in the midday. And there were some of you that was more in the morning, and there were some of you that was more in the evening. But have you ever thought, sort of, maybe why? Why do you kill more? some years more than other. Uh, I sat there and thought, and I thought, uh, and here's my opinion now. Here's my opinion. I think it's the moon. I think how the moon falls during the rut month. And there's no doubt weather. A lot of our shows you've seen when we kill mature deer, fronts come through, major fronts come through. Uh, a lot of times we kill them right when the front comes through. A lot of times we kill it two or three days, up to three days behind it. There's a website you can go to. It's dateandtime.com. When you go to it, set your area. Go to the top. Put the town you're from. Then you can go to the date, the month. You can type the month, the year, and then scroll down to that date because it's going to give you that month. <clears throat> that the, the date's in that month and you can go to, to that date and you can check when the moon rose, when it's set, when it's overhead, when it's underfoot. Uh, what I want to do is uh, Cause you gotta know that you date in the time. Your picture's on your phone. If you ever took a picture of your deer on your phone, it's got it stamped on the top, the date and time. So I'm gonna go through and, and pick some deer just randomly on my phone that I killed in the last 10 years. Uh, one of them's gonna be my uh, Iowa buck. This buck right here. Uh, I killed this buck on November the 18th, 2016. Uh, you go through it, you look at that. <clears throat> I killed that buck at 8.30. Oh, that's, that's the moon, it's just, it's, it's just finna set. So that's a minor time. Oh, and another thing you look at, it's four days behind the full moon. I always sound like hunting behind that full moon. Oh, and you know, like I said, this is just one deer. You can go check your deer, y'all. That's why I'm telling you this. You go check your deer and sort of see how the moon affected some of the ones you killed. Uh, because I went through and I basically had 20 deer that I checked. Six of them fell on a major. Uh, I basically went through and it's basically an hour and a half time frame. So that means 40 minutes before the moon set or 40 minutes after the moon set. Uh, that's when it, when, it, when it rises or when it sets when I call it a, a minor. The major time I give it a little bit more. I give it two hours. That's an hour before and an hour after when the moon was straight up and went straight down. But I killed six on the major. I killed seven on the minor. Uh, and I killed six that was in between. You know, I've always said it's not exact science, but I think just like this shows, it's from 65 to 70, maybe not be 70% correct. I've just seen that over the years. When I've killed a mature buck, about 65 or 70% of the time, it's finna fall between a major and a minor. Uh, the others I looked at, I think weather had something to do with most of them. Weather, or they was with a doe. It was in a sort of, that's one thing I, you know, I've always based a lot of my hunting on, is the move down to the, of the moon, uh, in the position of the moon. <clears throat> I guess where I'm going with that, with the moon, uh, you know, you can check your moon by this, this website right here. But have you ever heard, I've, I've heard it for 25, 30 years. Uh, magazine articles used to always write about it years ago uh, when we read magazines all the time. Uh, it always would say the full moon, I mean the, the rut in the Midwest was the second full moon after the equinox. How many of y'all ever heard that? Uh, you know, I've heard that for years. Uh, you know, ours is generally the third here in the South. Right, my area right here is generally the third full moon after the equinox. <clears throat> but have you ever thought about it? You know, you're saying the second full moon after the equinox. Equinox is around September 22nd. It, it, it's, it's, it's that day every year. For example, 
say if you first, say if you got a full moon, say the 20th of September, it falls before the equinox. So that means your first full moon you're gonna have is in October. Oct October, the t you know, around the 20th, because it's basically 29, 30 days after. Well, your second full moon is gonna be late in November. It's gonna be, you know, that 25th or so of November. Here's another scenario. How about if the full moon falls after the equinox, right after? Just say if it falls like the 25th of September. That means you got your first full moon in September after the equinox. Well, your second full moon is going to fall into October. So if it says the second full moon after the equinox, that means the rut's going to start early that year. That means it's going to be, it's going to start the end of October, probably going to run into the first few days of November. Have you ever thought about that before? Going through the moon like that, I do think the moon affects how you kill deer. If it falls in the morning or evening, just based on when them good move times hit. Oh. Another thing is weather. And it's not just fronts coming through, it's the time of day fronts come through. Oh. Just say, you know, while I'm saying that, just say if a front comes through after midnight till the morning. I'd sorry you got a good chance of killing deer, big deer in the morning. But say if the, the front comes through midday, evening, I think it affects you allowed to have better luck of killing a deer in the evening time. Oh. You know, here's just some scenarios I've went through that I think makes sense to me that I've really started paying attention to. <clears throat> so that's why I'm sitting here thinking, looking through this room here, of what I killed in the morning versus the evening some years. Because I've, I've kept up with it. So some years it just seemed like you kill a deer Oh, in the morning, and then it just sort of may kill one evening, but then you kill two in the morning, or in a given year, and then the next year it may be vice versa. You kill a couple more in the evening than you did in the morning. Oh, and that's just sort of thought, wonder why. But being able to hunt as much as I have in the last four or five years, I've sort of paid a lot of attention to the moon and, and when the moon falls during the month. Oh, it's like I said, if it falls after that, right after the equinox or if it falls right in front of the equinox, I do think it affects them, the, the deer movement and the rut. Oh. What's y'all's opinion on that? Oh, like I said, I've done a lot of study. Oh, I found that website and I sort of went through and done something with my deer and it sort of, I guess, I guess it sort of showed what my thinking was, was, was sort of correct. You know, like I always said, it's not 100% correct, the moon, but I do think it's way more than 50%. And, and this shows. Uh, hey, leave me a comment. What's y'all's opinion on that? Um, just curious. Because you can go check your all's deer. Go to that website and check y'all's deer uh, by the moon. And hey, leave me a comment. What you find. Uh, hopefully this helps you. You know, that's what I'm trying to do is share knowledge with you that, that'll help you kill mature buck. Get more consistently consistent on killing mature bucks. So, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.